After 20 years with nonprofit organizations, Sharon Tetrault lost her job on January of 2010. During this time, she has realized that the struggles of unemployment go well beyond making ends meet financially. I have sent out hundreds of resumes. I've gone to all the resume workshops, the interview workshops, and people tell me, oh, it's such a great, perfect match for this, uh, for this job, and then I hear nothing. I haven't got any interviews, and I finally, actually last week, got one interview. Um, but it's just been really demoralizing when you grow up believing in the American dream that if you work hard enough and you're a good person, that things will work out okay, and then to find out that's not true. But now that she has an interview, Sharon is worried whether she will get a fair chance, as the competition is tough, and it only gets tougher for those who have been out of the market for a while. I do a lot of volunteer work, I do a lot of networking, but to know that there's only one in five you know, positions open for everybody who's looking, and this week I guess the unemployment numbers went up. There's also um, articles lately that I've been reading about how employers are discriminating against the unemployed. If you've been unemployed for longer than six months, they don't even want to meet with you, and I'm not sure why. Besides the small number of opportunities, Sharon feels that another barrier that may be keeping her from getting employed again is the fact that she only speaks English. Learning how to speak Spanish in, in my field would help me immensely, but there's no training money for that. You know, if I want to become a health aide or something along those lines, they have training, but when I ask the people at the Department of Labor about, you know, taking some Spanish classes, they seem to think that that was, you know, not worth their time. When it would, you know, help me get hired because there's so many jobs in my field where um, Spanish, speaker, Spanish speakers, you know, required. So, can't seem to win either way. Although the U.S. Department of Labor has announced a decline on the unemployment rate this year, Sharon doesn't think that there will be any significant improvement. I mean, there are some mornings where I wake up crying every morning because I'm like, oh my God, if I'm falling behind in the rent, I'm falling behind in this, I'm going to be homeless, I'm going to, you know, and it just spirals, this downward spiral. So I just try and, you know, go one day at a time and just keep up the networking. I go to a lot of free events, a lot of different professional networking events, and I just have to try and focus on it one day at a time because when I try and think of the big picture a year ahead, I'm not very hopeful, especially with the Republican-led House, <laughs> you know?